Hey, hey there, Sagittarius. This is Joy with Joy of the World here to take an intuitive peek into the energies going on around you. Friends and subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new to this channel, click that subscribe, baby, ring the bell. They'll notify you anytime I post new videos. Also, if you find you like the content we provide here, give us that big thumbs up. Be generous. Share, share, share with our world. And that's the way this message gets out. These videos are timeless. Therefore, they don't have timestamps and various other things that cause people to click on it called clickbait. It's not like you're... you're baiting them actually, but it's encouraging them and that it's a timely manner. It's a timely read. Mine are kind of, people aren't too sure about it, but the thing is, is it's not my job to lead and guide your life. I'm providing the energy, the confirmation, the insight, the reinforcement, that type of thing, so that your spirit and your guide can divine and move through this energy for you and begin to put together the puzzle pieces of your life, the puzzle pieces actually of your chart. Just so you know, we are the whole zodiac. That's what I believe here. And I've seen it because why? When you get a picture of your chart, it has all 12 houses, doesn't it? And that's the thing is we need to know just like strings on an instrument, we don't have 12 strings and sit there and pluck one and go, I'm a Capricorn sun, I'm a Capricorn sun. You know, it's being able to play the whole instrument and divine forth this beautiful, unctuous song of who we are. So what has been going on up through this week was sink or swim. It's The trick is not to sink or swim, to polarize, to good or bad, light or dark, that type of thing. It's to actually choose up the middle. Because as we've gone to Mercury retrograde, it's this flume and this shoot bypassing over into the 200 years of air. And they're telling us to set our attitude, to tune our streams, to tune our zodiac, our wheel of fortune, right? To be able to step and walk in time with the energies here, knowing that right now Mar Mars in retrograde, Mars has our back. Knowing that Jupiter is here not just to help us expand and grow to change the world, but to get to know ourselves and to create a greater capacity for love and juiciness and deliciousness here on Earth. Saturn's here to awaken us to play with the energies around that seem to be formative and seem to be defined and begin to awaken our creativity, our creator power. Those are the type of energies that are coming through the central channel you're talking about sink or swim where you're like no more because you called forth the deck that it came from the irony is i'd gone to grab another deck and when i began to start the read this card came out from the middle of another deck and i was like okay it was reiterated because it came out with another moon and i was like okay that's wild that's crazy but you're like i'm calling it out i'm calling the deck out i'm clearing it because the last two reads i have next are capricorn and then aquarius and you're like it won't even be there we've already turned this energy and we're doing it now joy and i should have known because i was cleaning up the decks which i always do off camera to save you the time and the noise of me shuffling that way i just rifle through and get the cards out for your read but this is the mystical dream tarot what was going on here and the card that came out first was the six of wands and you said mm, i'm cooking something up and i said yes you are i don't know what it is yet because i haven't looked but i heard you you're already talking you're very vocal this week sagittarius so you've got some idea of what you want to cook up here see idea do, 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 do. look at it there look at it there okay you have that idea and the magician is coming out slipping in that hand there's some resource some information some knowing some understanding being given to you that hasn't been given to anyone else you've tamed and you've mastered it all right that's that snake in the beaker going into that science lab to divine and discern. And how do I know underneath? Look, you have the sorcerer. I don't care what it's called in other decks. In this deck, it is the sorcerer. And you're like, flip the switch. We are. We're going to flip the switch from dark to light. And there ain't no problem with dark. I love dark. Stars are up in the dark. I sleep in the dark. Photos used to be developed in the dark. It's that type of thing that we have going on there. But you're talking about the angel wings, this divining that it's time to see. It's time to let love open the door. It's time for that divinity and that magic, the cascade of the stars to come down. You're showing me this cascade of stars falling forth like a waterfall. Huh. Lots of answer prayer coming through. Maybe even some miracle power. And you're like zap and zing the cup. So the cup here you're showing me is synonymous with this beaker. And see here, the snake is free. And this is, you were talking, telling me something about the anti-venom here, but this is the venom and the anti-venom. They're one and the same. It's just the manner in which they are applied and used. Look at this reiteration here and here. What have you got going on in there and there? Talking about the divine mirror. 
So this is more than just a switch. This is the gateway. Through your throat. Through your heart, like the highest of hearts. You're talking about this little V, wait, like that, right there. That's the way through. That's the way through. That's the ticket. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and stop there for a moment because I can feel you just kind of hovering and spiraling, trying to communicate more to this human mind. I forgive. Um, there's a message in here of power of creativity. Okay, and so it's very much talking about Jupiter. Jupiter's wanting to speak here because Jupiter was talking to me even earlier. I was taking a break to put my feet up. Um, I'm not fond of sitting, although I am fond of reading for you. Um, talking about Zeus. Zeus is Jupiter. Jupiter is Jove. Um, the reiteration of that power, the commanding power, the rulership, the authority. Yes, I'm shuffling while we're talking. Because you're having me channel in that green, that life, that power, that permission. In this case, some money. Definitely. Generally, green is of the heart, but this is of reward. This is talking about the healing. And for many of you, there's been a financial... Oh, my God. <laughs> this is the card at the top. Okay? So, I'm going to go ahead and let you know this divine tower. This is this imagination, this new idea, this full-on solar connection with the energy around you. Really being able to command in the era of air that is coming. But this is like a lining of all the expense, all the price you've paid through the generations, through the ages, through the lifetimes. There's that divine eye again, the divine reiteration. This is almost like that peak, P-E-E-K, being able to look and see this down that you're talking about is what is right. It will almost like just imagine this, okay? Um, hmm. So, the cards came out. I didn't even realize this. Who even knows? Y'all have me so deep. Talk about your money and all your prosperity coming in and all these leaves, all this waiting, all this. You're saying weeping. You know, crying for a night. Joy comes in the morning. That ain't just for a night, baby. That's like a long season. And people can talk about dark night of the soul. Mm, mm, mm. This is a saga of the soul. It wasn't a night. It wasn't a season. It was a full series. And she is like, ha, ah, you're about to be rewarded. It's not something that you have to wait on or that you have to be good or right. Remember, you're dismissing this. You're totally, you're owning it. You're taking this moon and you're turning it into your Jupiterian powder. Pow, powder. Yo, you got some powder. Does Jupiter have powder too? Sprinkle some right here. Right here, sprinkle some on me, baby. I'm ready. She, gonna, she just going to dust my hair. Come on, girl. Dust me right there. Bless our Sagittarian friends. I got a lot of Sagittarius placements, if you can't tell. But that's what you're talking about, that Jupiterian dust coming in. That uh, Zeus, which is also Thursday, by the way. Y'all, Thor's, Thursday, Zeus, Jupiter, Jove. All reiterate one and the same, depending upon where you are on these mountains, hills, and valleys here. So, okay, well, the moon fell at the bottom. Now the sorcerer's to the side. So this is your magic. You've got that Jupiterian dust, and you've lifted up. This is like a battle cry, but not for battle war. It's it's like a victory cry, a cry for victory of hallelujah. It is written like you know it is done. And you see she is sitting on the throne with seam of the sun. But in the last reading in Scorpio that we just did was talking about the merging of the sun and the high priestess or the high priest, right? The merging of those energies coming together. It's almost like a full, well, the full chapter, the full season of the, the series of the saga. And in this case, when I refer to chapter, it's not like chapter two and three and four in one book. It is book one, book Two. Those are each a chapter, a chapter of your life, a phase, a facet of your life. You're very much divining in the triangle of the eye. All right, friend, tune into your North Star. Okay, that's the I see on your chart. It is the beginning of your fourth house. So what is your fourth house in? That sign. Check out that reading. Okay. So now here are the cards that we brought in about this venom, anti-venom, powder, apparently of Jupiter, and all sorts of stuff.
you've managed to harness it together into a vessel of transportation. You're bringing Jupiter to our world. You're bringing the divine vast concepts of all you have learned, assimilated the layers, the weavings, the tapestries, the times. It's like now that it's conjoined with Saturn, it's able to be harnessed and brought in. And that's what you're bringing in. The merging of the self. You're able to bring in. Mm, of course you are, Sagittarius. Have I ever told you I'm in love with you, Sagittarius? You're bringing in the human and the animal, right? That's what our sign is. I'm saying our sign because I'm, I'm very Sagittarius. Very Sagittarius. Uh, multiple placements there. But you're bringing in that instinct, which is a gentler instinct. You are the most gentle of the fires. And that doesn't mean, like, can't be seen. It is of more of a human essence and a human element. It's not in, like, animal instinct, which is more the Leo is tempered and come on about, to be the fire that doesn't burn. It consumes, but it doesn't burn. It's like the electricity coursing through our veins. It is the, the connection between us and the divine outer realms, and in this case, Jupiter and Saturn here. And that's the, the heart of the cosmos, and you're bringing it to us, and it's coming with that electric cascade of the stars that you're talking about here. You've dressed it up, and you've divined it, and you've made it look so ordinary, so normal, and that is not a bad thing. You make it appealing. You make it homey. You make it inviting. Sagittarius. I love that. And now we're going to get a cosmic tarot because it's it's you're talking more about the energy of you and what's coming in. I'm going to ask one more time. Will you tell us what this Jupiter dust is? Both the venom and the anti-venom is the full balancing of the mind, the no more, the Garden of Eden, the Garden of Delights, the Garden of the Internal I. Well, that's the I, the I am, and you're taking it to just the I because you're letting the letter I, right, represent all eyes, all eyes. Like all the ocean is contained in one drop. There you are, babe. There you are. Ace of Wands. Pure cosmic connection. You're upright. You are full of integrity. You are uh, in right standing with yourself, meaning understanding of yourself, who you are and what you're here for. That's humility, okay? Um, that's the radiance of your sun shining forth. It's like that beacon that is coming out of your mouth. It's coming from your heart, speaking as your truth, whether you open the lips or not is your example, but when you do speak the radiance, I could almost cry, I'm overwhelmed with the beauty. The radiance of the sun shines forth in you, in your face and who you are. And they've been talking about us being solar and it's not just our sun sign, right? Because as I said, I'm very Sagittarius. It's about being in your truth and being in that benefic of your planet, of your sign, of your rulership, of that type of thing, and tuning the strings to where when you play, it's melodic. It's full of harmony, and it's sending off inspiration ideas to others because it's not demanding or commanding or forceful. It's unctuous. It's inviting. Remember? It's inviting. Look at that. Just like you said, Deterius, I think this is supposed to be just left as this pause, as this breath, as this wonderment. Not for me to solve or to put the finger on. I think this is exactly where it should be. I hope you have this hearth fire burning inside of you, this warmth and this beauty of who you are, because this is really playing into the Eight of Wands. It's playing into the igniting of the Tree of Life. And this isn't just your tree, friend. As you live this, you light up the tree of life, all trees of life, okay? And it touches the heart of the earth and it sends it out once for all. It's time. I love you. Hey, leave your comments down below so I can see what is going on in your world, baby. On the other side of that lens, I love you so much. Check back with me real soon.